Welcome back everybody, this is Cho Assassin, and you are building Sunteria. Well, not you, but me. Today, I'm going on a short little hike. Actually, it's really far, it's like 2,000 blocks. We're going to pick up some donkeys and uh, bring them back. And hopefully we can find some wolves on the way. I brought with us uh, some bones and some extra armor just in case so we're gonna try to get there real quick and uh, I'll be right back so I'm running to the location that I last saw and I just ran across this right now so let's take a look let's take a look I hear stuff inside hello stuff I'm here to take you over Oh, this is the back side. Okay. Aha! Stuff. <laughs> Skeleton. My dog? Something just tried to fire something at me. Must have been down there. Let's uh, light this up. Okay. One over there, one down here. One right there. Yep, something's inside. And I think it goes two, three, one. And it should be right somewhere. Nope. There we go. Okay. Something's dying. Try that. Hmm. I don't remember. Alright, where is the tripwire? See if we can catch it before it gets us. There it is. Nice. Let's pick up the string. There we go. Ooh, nice. Four arrows. Not like I need them. Let's put the torch back here. And another one, and another one, because where it is, there it is. Oh wow, ten arrows. Alright, let's see my prizes. Excellent. Some good stuff. We'll have to remember where these coordinates are. Let's see. Okay. Them rock down. Alright, now I'm gonna try to figure this out. I think it's three, two, one. No? No? Huh. Try that. Alright. <laughs> Not getting anywhere. There's a sticky piston. How'd you get in there? Ooh. Okay, we're not going to be able to take that with us. No? No? That one. Okay. That's 
That's fine. And yeah, we can go like this. Haha. -ha. Excellent. All right. All right. So, I'll see you back when we get something else. And many horses. But I kind of want dark colored horses. So, we're going to go slow. Because <laughs> these donkeys, they do not go pretty fast. They go real slow. And it actually doesn't take that long to get here. The only bad part is, is that I have to go through the plains. Or not the plains. A jungle. Not this jungle. That jungle. <laughs> There's two. And I think they're connected. But I'm not sure. And that's just... You know, that's the wrong way. That, I mean, that's the correct way. But that's not the way I want to go. Hmm, should have brought a post. I can make one. Alright. I'll be back. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. This is the most agonizing, painful thing I have ever had to do. I started out with six. I now only have three. Well, actually seven, because I had six leads. I have three. Now, I don't think any of them are actually dead. Maybe that donkey that fell down in the hole. He might be severely hurt. But traveling about 3,000 blocks and having all these animals try to be following you? Not the smartest idea. Ever. Don't do it. I know that when people say don't do things, everybody wants to go and try to do it. But I'm telling you, save yourself the time, the agony, and don't do it. See? See? See what I mean? How did you fall apart? This lead. This lead. Ah. I can just scream. Because it is so, so annoying. Okay, first, we're going to put him in. Okay. Get out. Thank you. Okay. Next, we're going to put... Come on. You can both come in. It's okay. Come on. Here. Come on. You. Come on in. Okay? I'll just get on top of you. Now come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. There it is. Okay. Now try again. Attach. Oh my gosh. Get in there. This is not what we're doing for today's episode, but I just wanted to let you know how painful it really is. Oh man. All right. Oh, and that dog? That dog? He died. I don't even know how he died. He was alive, and then he disappeared. And he was no longer with me. But he did make dying noises. So I don't know how to explain that one. Okay. Let me gather myself, and we'll be right back. So I'm just caving away, and look what we stumble upon. A second nether fortress. Like right next door to the first one. <laughs> I don't I don't generally come down from the bottom, but uh I saw something else over here and I was like, what is this? So I decided to check it out. So just gonna get some of this quartz and uh we'll be gonna check out this nether fortress. Oh, can this guy be the one? Will he drop a wither? Skull! Kitty! Ah! No. Alright. Well, he would have been number three. 
Leave that one alone. And head right this way. Oops, too far. Okay. Alright. And we have two more. Can we do it? Can we do it? Here they are. Here they are. Oh, and a skeleton. No, oh, withered. No. No! This is not good. Oh, there's another one. Ah. Can we do this without dying? Yes! <coughs> Nothing. Alright. Let's see if we can go get that wither. We're gonna go out um, full force. Not ranged. Let's take out the arch though. Skeleton. How did I miss? Alright, here we go. Can we get him? Come on, there we go. Come down to me. Yes. No. I guess number three is not in my odds. And in chest number one. Hmm. Well, saddle's always nice. Onward! And in chest number two. Wait. Never mind. And in chest number two. Hmm. Not bad. And in chest number three. Ooh. Armor. Armor's always nice. Okay. Chest number four. More saddles. Chest number five and six. Holy cow! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring all this back. Okay, we can dump that. Yep, not gonna bring this all back. So. See what's over here. More armor. All right, so let's uh, combine these things. So this is gold. We'll grab one of those. There we go. All right, here we go. We got two things. Two things. Can we do it? Shut up, dog! <coughs> nope. Again, nothing. It's okay. We'll just keep trying. I think that's done. We've explored this entire thing. And uh, it's really big, actually. It has a lot of rooms and a lot of space. But not a whole lot of... Uh, a lot more chests than that one. Don't want to attempt it, I'm going to die. We got 30 levels. We're just going to go back. Uh, we're going to take... Uh, we're going to take the uh, bow I have here, and we're going to combine it with another bow. And we are going to get a power 3. Uh, it's going to cost us 25 levels, but we 
probably should be okay. I made myself a nice little path. I can't wait for them to come up with a run button. Just what? Oh, I must have hit him. Ah, uh, all right. Well, let's quickly get back. My bed was obstructed. My oh, oh all right. Well, I'll be right back. All right, so disappointing. Got everything back except one thing and. I reviewed the tape and no idea what I was missing, but this is what I got in return. And we gotta go back and get that extra armor, but for now, I think we'll be okay. A lot of quartz, a lot of times to the nether. Should probably take the armor off the other horses. I want more name tags. Uh, it would be nice. Ooh, ten saddles. Um, brewing. Yep, okay. Good. Gold can go over there. Alright. Oh, you know what I think it was? It was glowstone. Because I was hunting some glowstone. Alright, well, not a biggie. Not that I really need a gold sword. Or anything. It's a power two. Do I got anything? No. Alright, let's see what we can get. If we can get a power two on this. I don't want to rename it. Wrong one. Let's see if I can get a six. Three, five, six. Oh. There it is. Okay. Oh. Well, it's not bad. We can just start combining things together. Not obviously that, but we'll get another power one and uh, combine it. And uh, we'll be right back. Hello, and welcome back to Building Centaria with Joe Assassin. Today, we are going to make the bakery. Yes. Agree. That way, now we have a, a legitimate form of finding flour and making bread. <laughs> finding flour? Making flour? I don't know what I said. Anyhow, um, here are some of the materials. So gravel for the ground, just to make it easier for people to walk on. And different types of stone and uh, some of the spruce wood. And I didn't grab any oak. I don't know why I didn't. Alright. But, had uh, a lot of different adventures. Um, I did piece together some things. So, hopefully, we will be seeing some of those. Now.
Okay, so uh, we're back real quick. Now we have a big lighting situation out here. Is that it's just a bunch of torches for now? But that will come later. We will fix that. So how are we gonna make this bakery look like? I think if we make it an upgraded house like this, so let's make it. That's five, six, seven, and. When these grow, we can just make them part of this guy. Let's make it uh, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay.
Okay, so I spent a good amount of time trying to design this. Thank you, CC, our annoying little silky terrier. Uh, and I added some details. It is a little bland on this side, but I'll figure it out. And let's see. This side's okay. It's a little awkward because of uh, its positioning, so the front is also a little awkward. And we're going to only have one window on this side, but I wanted this to actually be an oven. And uh, I thought of a brick oven would be the best. And we can use uh, some of the old stone, like this, uh, well like these two, the on that side and uh, over there. And. Uh, so here's our cutting area and you you shove the wheat in there to make the bread and all sorts of things just to give it some good details but oh yeah and storage i didn't do the second floor yet but it's okay please go down thank you uh it is a little awkward for the area let's just take a look Yeah, a little awkward for the area. I mean, we're using dark wood mixed with the light wood. So let's see. Can we take a nice picture here? There we go. That's a nice picture. Get the church and the uh, watchtower in the background. Let's see. And uh, we're slowly coming along here. We're going to have some upgraded buildings in with uh, these uh, lower class ones, like obviously the bakers, but you know, he's the baker, and you're just a farmer. Uh, although I don't mean it just like that, I mean, you're not just a farmer. This guy's going to be farming these things, so I just put these here temporarily so I can make uh, health potions, because I didn't have any uh, actual watermelon. Let's get some more. They grow pretty quick. That's nice. Okay. 
and uh, if you land on it from like that, like up above, like you fall on it, it you don't get the seed back. It like totally destroys the plant altogether. Just uh, keep in mind, don't land on things like that. Um, yeah, some of the doors are gone. I extended this because the animals were going mad, and then as soon as I started extending it, the animals just ran wild, and I lost almost all of them. So, I'm just trying to slowly get my populace back. Yes, you can't feed them with... Uh oh, egg. Thank you, sir. There we go. And it's lit on the inside, so, you know, I didn't remove them yet, I didn't know what to do, so I felt like I should keep the, the lights on the inside, but I digress. We got the bakers in, that's good. We're going to bake a, uh, a, a very nice windmill, um, Probably some more farms and stuff. We'll put them on the other side over here, and we'll make a really nice windmill uh, It'll belong to these guys uh, Yeah, he'll have to come over here and drop off his uh, uh, Flower But there'll be a nice windmill over here and a bunch of other farms and things And Yeah, I think that's all for this one uh, My next episode will be number 10 uh, I think we're gonna do some special things and we can discuss more of what we're gonna do for the rest of the season and what we're gonna be doing with Santeria as a whole alright guys this has been Cho Assassin I will see you guys next time if you focus your attention to the center part of your screen, you'll be able to see Sunteria from the beginning. And in the bottom left, you'll be able to see a castle that I built in survival a few years ago. And in the bottom right, you'll be able to see another series I have, Warcraft, Orcs, and Humans. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you.